festival in Harlem giving African Americans a chance to shine. Anton Lewis shows us the fresh perspective that they are bringing to the world of comics. For nine-year-old Lena Thigpen, it was the adventures of Bessie Stringfield that she asked her dad, Jason, to buy. I felt excited that girls like me are in comic books. Father and daughter attended the annual Black Comic Book Festival in Harlem, now in its seventh year. These stories are really a, a way to share the black experience um, with people who don't really understand it. Joel Christian Gill and Melanie Roth have three comics being published. His stories and heroes are based on real-life African-American historical figures who are relatively unknown. We have found not only do schools and libraries love these books because it's a fun way to teach history, um, just the general public just loves seeing this demographic in uh, comic book format. Many say Black Panther's global success on the big screen has brought increased attention to an industry that's still eclipsed by mainstream comics. The fact that the world has taken to Black Panther says a lot about where we need to push these kind of images forward. Um, so I'd love to continue to see it go forward, not just for people of color, uh, but also for other nations. The festival ends Saturday, and comics representing all cultures are on display, a source of pride for those who've created them. When you tell these stories and you make the people aware, it's just like having a cup of coffee with somebody. Like you're sharing little bits and pieces of your humanity, and so it, it builds empathy. It builds an understanding. From Harlem, Antoine Lewis, Fox 5 News.